నమస్తే శ్రీరామ లవ్ అండ్ రెస్పెక్ట్ ఫుట్ ఆఫ్ లార్డ్ శ్రీరామ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ ఫార్టీ వన్ నేమ్ ద నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద పవర్ సా విచ్ ఈస్ యూజ్ ఫార్ కటింగ్ ఏ లార్జ్ క్రాస్ సెక్షన్ మెటల్ ఈస్ ఆప్షన్స్ ఏ ప్రొఫైల్ పవర్ సా ఆప్షన్ బి కౌంటర్ పవర్ సా ఆప్షన్ సి రెసిప్రోకెటింగ్ పవర్ సా ఆప్షన్ డి సర్క్యులర్ పవర్ సా కరెక్ట్ ఆన్సర్ ఈస్ సర్క్యులర్ పవర్ సా సర్క్యులర్ పవర్ సా ఏ సర్క్యులర్ సా ఈజ్ ఎ పవర్ సా యూజింగ్ ఏ టూత్ ఆర్ అబ్రెసివ్ డిస్క్ ఆర్ బ్లేడ్ టు కట్ డిఫరెంట్ మెటీరియల్స్ యూజింగ్ ఏ రోటరీ మోషన్ స్పైనింగ్ అరౌండ్ అండ్ ఆర్బర్ సర్క్యులర్ సాస్ ఆర్ కామన్లీ పౌడర్ powered by electricity so the questions the name of the power saw which is used for cutting a large cross sections metal is correct answer is option d that is circular power saw next question the least count of a vernier caliper in which 9 mm main scale divisions are divided into 10 equal divisions in the vernier scale will be options option a 0.02 mm option b 0.01 mm option c 0.1 mm option d 0.2 mm correct answer is 0.1 mm so in this question the least count of vernier caliper in which 9 mm main scale division so first from the given data first write the 9 mm is mst are divided into 10 equal division in the vernier scale so 9 mst is equal to 10 vst okay then we have to find out the least count of vernier caliper so we know that least count is difference of 1 mst and 1 vst that is 1 mst main scale division minus 1 vernier scale division so first we have to find 1 mst means minus 1 vst we have to find from the given data so we know that 10 vst is equal to 9 mst so we want 1 vst so if you want to 1 vst then then you have to substitute this 10 value to the right side of the equal sign so that is 9 divided by 10 mst so then 1 vst is equal to 9 divided by 10 mst substitute this value of 1 vst in this least count formula okay that is instead of 1 vst we can write 9 by 10 mst so next to simplify here mst is there here mst is there. take the common okay then simplify this step that is 1 minus 9 by 10 so again this simplify this step we'll get 10 minus 9 divided by 10 okay 10 minus 9 that is 1 divided by 10 mst so if you divide these numbers that is 1 by 10 you will get the decimal point that is least count is equal to 0.1 millimeter so for this questions question number 42 correct answer is option c that is 0.1 millimeters not 1 mst that is equal to 1 main scale division 1 vst is equal to 1 one near scale division lc that is least count next question least count of one year depth gauge is option 0.10 mm option b 0.01 mm option c 0.20 mm option d 0.02 mm so for this questions the correct answer is 0.02 mm so one year depth gauge so one year depth gauge is used for measuring the 
depth of holes, recesses and distances from a plane surface to a projection. Here the graduated scale is slide through the base and vernier scale remains fixed. So question number 43, the least count of a vernier depth gauge is 0 0.02 millimeter. So next question, question number 44, the most suitable heating temperature for forging low carbon steel is option A. 1300 degrees Celsius, option B, 1100 degrees Celsius, option C, 1600 degrees Celsius, option D, 720 degrees Celsius. So for this question, correct answer is option A, 1300 degrees Celsius. So in this table, the list, the metal is given from the first column in the second column temperature in degree celsius at the beginning temperature in the degree celsius at the end so some of the least metals are given in the first column so that is wrought iron low carbon steel hard high carbon and alloy steels brass bronze aluminium and magnesium alloys so so according to your temperature is given in second column from the temperature in degree Celsius at the beginning and also temperature in Celsius at the end. So in these questions they are asking the most suitable heating temperature for forging low carbon steel is. So low carbon steel is for the range is 1250 to 1300. So for this question the correct answer is option A that is 1000. 300 degrees Celsius. Next question, question number 45. Which flame is suitable for welding of non ferrous metals, brass or bronze? So, option Option A, oxidizing flame, option B, carburizing flame, option C, neutral flame, option D, none of the above. For this question, correct answer is oxidizing flame. Oxidizing flame, if flame has high oxygen content, ratio of oxygen and acetylene is 1.5 to 1. Then oxidizing flame is produced. Such flame are used in welding of copper and copper alloys that is brass and bronze so in this questions the question number 45 which flame is suitable for welding of non ferrous metals that is brass and bronze the correct answer is option a that is oxidizing flame next question 46 a welding transformer is used to convert the option a AC main supply into a DC welding supply. Option B AC main supply into an AC welding supply. Option C DC main supply into an AC welding supply. Option D DC main supply into DC welding supply. For this questions, the correct answer is option B AC main supply into an AC welding supply. Next question. Question number 47. State the current setting for the diameter 3.20 mm electrode size. Option A 40 to 60 amps. Option B 50 to 80 amps. Option C 90 to 130 amps. Option D 140 to 170 amps. The correct answer is option C, that is 90 to 130 amps. So, in this tables, 
in the first column that is the number and in second column electro type given than the column third and fourth so in the fourth columns there is a welding currents in amps for electrode size so in this we can understood thus the current setting for the diameter 3.2 diameter 3.2 here this is the diameter 3.2 mm for the current is this is the electrode type so we can understood from 90 to 130 you can year 90 to 140 is there from birth in the options we can select 90 to 130 amps so state the current setting for the diameter 3.2 zero mm electrode size the correct correct answer is option c 90 to 130 amps next question 48 the reamer teeth are unevenly spaced because option a the help to remove the reamer easily option b the are easy to manufacture option c they can reduce chattering. Option D, they help to cut metal gradually. So for these questions, the correct answer is they can reduce chattering. So this is the diagram of reamer. Reamer, reamer is a finishing process used to remove a small amount of material from a pre deal all. The results demonstrate that uneven spacing of reamer teeth reduces the tool vibration and therefore leads to a more stable condition. So for question number 48, the reamer teeth are uneven spaced because Correct answer is option C. They can reduce chattering. Next question, question number 49. Name of the type of thread used in precision instrument is option A, ISO inch thread, option B, BA thread, option C, BSW thread, option D, ESP thread. So correct answer is B A thread. So B A thread, British Association screw threads or B A screw threads are a largely absolute set of small screw threads. The largest being O B A at six mm diameter, used for miniature instruments and modeling so this is the diagram of british association thread that is 47.5 degrees so name the question number 49 for question number 49 name of the type of thread used in precision instrument is correct answer is option b b a thread next question Question number 50. The process of enlarging the end of hole for accommodating the socket screw head is Option A. Spot facing Option B. Reaming Option C. Counter boring Option D. Counter sinking For this question, correct answer is Option C counter boring. Counter boring. Counter boring is the operation of enlarging one end of an existing hole. Concentric with the original hole, it is done to accommodate the heads of bolts, starts and Pins. This is the diagram of 
haunt your body. For the question number 50, the process of enlarging the end of a wall for accommodating the socket screw head is correct answer is option C that is counter boring. Thank you for watching Jai Shri Rama.